to Real Life English. My name is Tanita and I want to teach you useful, practical English that we use in real life. I've started a new short video series if you didn't know already and this month being February, I've chosen the topic love. Just a friendly reminder that for my main videos, the ones that I release at the end of the month, there is a free worksheet. So please, on those videos, head to the description Click the link and get your free worksheet, which will help you learn what I teach you in those videos. So let's get started. We're going to have a look at some vocabulary. I've chosen two words that we often use with love, and they are infatuated and chemistry. Let's take a look at the word infatuated. This word can be used as a noun or an adjective, but we often use it as an adjective to describe how someone might be acting or feeling at any moment in time when they like someone. When we say that somebody is infatuated, we mean that they are almost obsessed with someone. Now, we don't mean that they're crazy. We just mean that they really like someone so much that they can't stop thinking about them. To look at an example, we could say, since he has met her, he has become infatuated with her. So when you really like someone, or know somebody who's really almost crazy about someone, you could say that they are infatuated with that person. The next word we're going to take a look at is chemistry. Now, when I say chemistry, I don't mean like in a lab with chemicals and things like that. That's not what I'm talking about here. Chemistry is all about taking different elements and seeing how they react with each other when you put them together. So we can get good and bad reactions. When we talk about chemistry in relationship, it's more or less the same thing. We're talking about how those people react with each other when they come together or in a relationship. Now, we can either have chemistry with someone else or not have chemistry with someone else. So we can use it in the affirmative and the negative. A lot of relationships actually get based or judged on the chemistry somebody has with another person. So if you meet someone for the first time and that chemistry isn't there, we often wouldn't consider dating them. It's quite an interesting phenomenon. So when you hear someone talking about the chemistry of people, we're talking about how well they sort of go together, their reactions with each other. Looking at an example, we could say, I've noticed they have a really good chemistry between each other. I think they'll have a long and good relationship. Okay, so we looked at two words that we can use to talk about love and relationships, and they were infatuated and chemistry. Remember, when we learn new words, we need to practice. So take these two words and give me some examples in the comments below. I'd love to see how you use them. I hope you enjoyed this short little video for today, and I hope you have a wonderful February. Have a great day. Bye. I'm really not having the best of luck lately with these videos. Should have started earlier. Maybe in a bit of a crazy way. Don't you start with me. She likes to do this. She just suddenly meows and then wants to attack me. Do you want to go outside?